Hey, this is Anna Carey Flint. I'm the lead instructional designer for the EdTech certificate team. Um, as you probably all know by now, we are um, redesigning the graduate level um, educational technology certificate for the IDT program at U of M. Um, Brooke is our project manager, and we've got Melissa Griswold, Travis Kraus, and uh, Del McAtee on the team. So we all know the purpose of the content analysis, um, but I did want to go ahead and highlight this note that I got prior approval from Dr. Martindale that um, two of these courses are going to be a little bit more ambiguous in their learning because we haven't really designed them yet. We have an idea of what's going into them, but um, that might change as we actually design the instruction and the assignments. So. This is our content map. We decided to make it a broad, big one with um, the primary goal of all of the students in these courses will be to get the Educational Technology Certificate. Um, and these are the four courses they will have to complete to get the certificate. And then we have the modules outlined um, through here. And you can see that uh, they're all seven weeks courses, but this IDT 7061, the lesson planning, this module will last, oh, I'm sorry, this module will last uh, two weeks. And in this one, it's kind of um, the capstone class, much like this one, where they will design a project, and that will be four weeks of the course. Uh, the prerequisite skills are pretty basic. These are graduate level courses, so they'll have a bachelor's degree, computer skills, internet access, um, and most of them will be um, in the MAT program or getting their masters in IDT or just going for the certificate, but they'll be classroom teachers. So um, these courses will go in order, so the previous courses will be prereqs for the subsequent ones. So we've laid it out in this table, um, each module. The 7061 has the most diverse group of learners. So um, these are kind of, uh, when we say productivity tools, those are the basic Google suite of tools. Um, we are just going to touch on these topics in each of them, um, except for lesson planning that goes into a bit more detail and then eventually down to uh, module six, which will be um, actually integrating the technology in with the lesson plan and the visual thinking and, and the, the stuff uh, the ISTE standards and stuff that's uh, covered, but we don't go super deep on any of these in here because all MAT students have to take this course. Going down to 7062, um, you'll see some of the same topics such as 21st century skills, visible thinking, and lesson planning. Um, these are all duplicates of 7061, but they go beyond the surface level. They go much deeper. Um, and then we can come down here to 63. And again, we get more, um, we get deeper into the technology and more complex because by the time they get to 7063, they need to be able, they, they should have the computer skills necessary for some of the more advanced usage in uh, their classrooms or for the assignments they're going to complete for the courses. And then 64 would be our last one. And this is a kind of like the capstone class of this where um, we are going to cover more technology here. But like I said, some of this is still being planned out. We have not uh, designed them yet. Um, and then the unit design, uh, basically our client has said that the the unit design or project they choose, it could be anything from a series of professional development workshops or screencasts for certain technologies, uh, etc. So, but on average, it should take about 50 hours for these students com to complete, which is why they have four weeks. There will be checkpoints throughout. Um, every week there will be a checkpoint and a deadline uh, that will coincide with the learning contract and stuff. So we have an idea of what we're doing. We just need to execute it on this one, for especially for 7063 and 7064. So I look forward to any questions you may pose about this document and um, I'm looking forward to watching the other two teams' video.